Red VTV, instant fan reaction, supported by A-Star recruitment for the 2019 season, following Saints 36-24 victory over Hull KR here this evening. Tighter than many expected? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the starting 13 probably threw a few out tonight. A uh, couple of changes, which people have asked for. So people shouldn't be whinging about, should they really? Mm. Yeah, well... Mm. For weeks and weeks and weeks, people yeah. have wanted rotation, rotation, yeah. rotation. And then they get rotation, and then they whinge about rotation. Yeah, and you don't know if it's... I know there's a, there's a couple of niggles, and whether he's rested the likes of Roby. Will, well, will, will, will remain to be seen when he, when he makes his... Uh, I think he alluded to it, didn't he? And yeah. We talked about it on the preview show that after we thought well, one of Walmsley or Thompson had missed out tonight. Yeah. It was Walmsley who missed out. Um, makes you wonder whether a couple of the changes... We're in force late on and we're yeah. probably injuries because they were because they weren't in the 19 to begin with. Yeah. Obviously James Bentley coming in and Jack, Jack Wellsby. Um but again we got off to a really good start, 16-0. Yeah. And, and it looked plain sailing, didn't it? And then Phil Farge, who we assume went off injured because yeah. he obviously didn't retain. Um and that probably changed the game a little bit. Yeah, it did. Um I think once you lose someone who is so good defensively and so much part of your attacking play. You lose that, and it's almost like the game against Leeds when we had when we had to have the reshuffle because Nagama went off. Um, it's it does it. It's going to still yeah. It's going to stop your progress. Um, so it, it is. It's a big thing. But obviously, we got into got into the halftime uh, changing room. And it, a good good chat for him. Fine margins though. We were 16 12 up. Yeah. Attacking the KR line. Yeah. We go through the hands. Create a great break down the left. Bentley gets it. It would have been easier for him to score, and he tries to be a good mate to Regan and slings the ball out. Regan not expecting it, coughs it up over the line. Fine margins. We could have easily gone in at half time, twenty two points to twelve up. There is and the there is the argument that Grace got his hands to that, so should have caught it. Whether you're expecting, was he expecting it, or, not. it? No. or what you're doing on a wing? Then well, yeah, maybe you should all, yeah always expect it. Um, but yeah, again, fine yes, margins. No, and that's it. it. It's splitting us. Though it is fine margins. It is. It's just what happens in rugby, isn't it? And for the first time this season, negative tweets at half time because we were two points down. I wasn't I wasn't worried at half time. No. The way this team is set up, they're there to power away in the last twenty minutes of games. That's for it. Me. The the fitness just shows, doesn't it, uh, in the second half, especially the second half of the second half. Um, this, okay, I got one try in the second half. Yeah. From a we think from the distance we were away. Yeah. I think we think Lomax coughed it up behind the try line, but apart from that, defence was stout. Yeah, exactly. And that's it. And we, once we started getting the roll, once the fans started getting behind us again, it just looked like the likes of Louis was pumped up for it. Lachlan Coote was pumped up for it. Then you then you get the likes of uh, Joe Paolo. That's his best game in a Saint shirt, to Joseph Paolo. I think he was. I think he was exceptional. He wanted to get his hands on the ball. But once that started clicking in. And players started getting used to that being the pattern of play. Then you know, it was it was never in doubt, really. Uh, Jack Wells be tonight mm-hmm. uh, getting his first full professional start. Yep. Obviously, on some appearance last season, got him to the side, got himself on the uh, on the score sheet. I think obviously the plan was to play him at centre. Um, injuries meant he ended up going into the halves. Yep. Probably disrupted his game. Yes, we know he's a natural half, but he's probably well as he knew, known he's going to be playing centre. But to start off in one position and then to move and become an organiser when you've not probably trained with the side yeah. it's got to be tough for him but did nothing wrong tonight no absolutely not um, I wonder if Costello's got a little bit of a, a knock as well because you'd imagine he would be the first one in but Wellsby's not disgraced himself at all tonight it looks like he's, he's been in and apart around that first team squad he looks settled he looks like a natural doesn't he um, so second half for me the change in the second half came with the kick chase again yeah. and the willingness to work for each other yeah um, there was a, a coup kick got put in we chased it down got the repeat set scored from it and then we got another set the same way and it's that work ethic in this team that is probably grinding out the results yeah absolutely I mean Coot sets the bar doesn't he I said it last week Barbo's like having a Ferrari at fullback Coot's like having a Rolls Royce he's just so smooth he's, he's slick he's everything it sounds like I'm doing him a dating profile here. but he's he's just he, you can just see that he's he's running that team he's the heartbeat of that team there's me there's his, there's his dating profile, profile. yeah <laughs> what, which, which way would you swipe <laughs> I don't know which way you, you swipe <laughs> um, what else 
don't know. That's yeah. about it. I mean, no, we said we said at half time. I put, yeah. I put out a tweet saying, "Don't worry, yeah. we're going to win by 12." Yeah, uh, and that proved the case. Yeah, um, Hull KR put up a decent effort. They did indeed. They did indeed. And we've got a young fan here. I'll answer that in a minute. Coming we've on, got, we've got two more fans we'll getting get in. On. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's lower it. What do you think of tonight? Good. Who was your man of the match? Lachlan Coote. Coote. Have a good game. Were you on the pitch at half time? Um, Did you score? <laughs> no. Are we going to see you in 10 years in the Saints yet? <laughs> I say, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to play for Wigan, do you? No. <laughs> so come on, you Saints. Come on, you Saints. Yeah, good lad. Good lad. Well, we did what we have to do. We have Lachlan Coote as our Rolls Royce. Well,. We did what we have done tonight, even though we were getting beat like at some point in the half. We just came back, do what we have to do. We played rugby the Saints way, and we are proud that we are eight games unbeaten. Let's keep this unbeaten run going. Come on, the Saints. Couldn't say any better. Rested a few tonight, didn't last. I'm not sure whether we rested them. I think we we heard a rumor a couple of hours before kickoff that we thought Pierce will had a knock, um, and we've been Walmsley had a knock as well. Um, is it just a, another chance to rest James Roby? We're trying to just eke him out. Then yeah. they've got to get another three years out of him. Yeah, well, that's it. Possibly we've we've got Catalan away coming up. We've got Warrington coming up, and then we've got Wigan coming up. It's almost that that. Do you do you rest them now? Give them three games because, as you say, we've got to look after James Roby. He can't keep doing eighty minutes. He's not twenty six, twenty seven anymore. And do you know what? Even if players didn't have niggles tonight, that's an extra game. That you've not put into the legs of Alex Walmsley and James Roby. Can I say at the end of the year? I think we'll be better for a game like that as well. Um, it's it's when you when you're at adversity that's when you find the best in players. And the likes of Bentley, the likes of Wellsby, the likes of Smith. I don't know had a really good game. He did, but the likes of them being in a team that's down at half time, kind of the the, the pendulum's going against them. All of a sudden to come back win that game. It's going to stand him in good the stead. New, the new lads done well. Right? You, right, you can you can just imagine uh, Justin Holbrook's half-time team talk. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just disappointed. Yeah. I'm giving him the look and everybody going, oh no. I think I think he'll be happy after the win though. Yeah. Fair. I think he'll come out. We've be got happy it. After the win. We, we can have games where we go to the likes of Castleford and and hammer them. Yeah. But tonight is a niggly game that we have to grind out. Yeah. Uh, adversity, four players out, an injury to you, your starting halfback. Rejig and you've come away with the points at the end of it. Yeah. Um, well, lads, I'm well, lads. You yeah. You're off the clock time. now. I'm not on the clock. You're not getting paid anymore. You're not here. Get over your tea. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, you, mate. It's, yeah. For me, it, it's a case of you've got you, you've got the two points, eight from eight. Yeah. And next week you can pretty much go at Cal, about Catalan, assuming everybody's fit, and go with them full tilt and try and resi- uh, preserve that unbeaten record. Yeah, correct. It'll be a tough one over the. Passes and crowd, big pack. And then Warrington at home. That'll be a good one. It's going to be a good one, isn't yeah. it? Um, man of the match then this evening, any any other choice? Uh, uh, bar o- the obvious. Other than Coots, as I say, Paolo had his best game in the Saints shirts. I thought Louis brought energy to the to the forward pack. I'd probably go with them three. Yeah. Maybe top three. Um, not only man of the match contention, Regan Grace, though. Um, got us kick-started in that second half. Yep. Took a high ball and it made a break and that put us on the front foot going forward after. Oh, that's the one we need to mention. When we were 18, 16, um, down. down, and we chose to take the two when we had the roll on. I didn't understand that at the time. We had, uh, we'd got one penalty. We, oh, yeah, we we got the repeat set, um, and then we take we take the two uh, goals. Showing us a bit it, too much respect. It, possibly, yeah. Early on now. Yeah, um, just get ourselves back into the game, back on level terms. But you know what? When you've got them under the pump. And no offence to Hull KR, but a team like Hull KR, we should be turning around going, right, we're going to not just take the two, we're going to take the lead here. So, um, Regan Grace, as you were saying, he's been absolutely exceptional um, throughout this season. Uh, he's just brought the form from the end of last season through. Um, there was somebody else I was going to mention. Speaking of wingers, yeah, Tommy Makinson, stuck on 99. Oh, I feel sorry for the lad. There's a 99 Super League try song there. 99 Super Try, stuck on... Oh, no. Somebody Shh. think of some words. Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> save me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I get this all he's, week. Not, he's not getting a lot of ball at the minute, but no. I think we talked. We're not exactly going through the hands of the wingers all the time either. When we're flowing an attack, we're usually getting in before the ball yeah. reaches that point. 
Yeah, true, but Grace is scoring tries on one wing. So it's you, you're hoping that it is will it because balance. team is it because teams are committing to Makington on the other side potentially and it opens up space for others potentially yeah potentially it's just still a, a getting, new, new still partnership the it's a new partnership yeah Tommy always will um, so rotation did Justin Holbrook get it right tonight yeah we won we won twelve points it's six twenty four and people people can whinge about rotation and they'll probably watch this and go oh them two lads having a having a bit of goal bit of a goal at us you know what. If, if you want rotation and then you get it, go as long on. as we come away with the two points, yeah. don't move, because it'll do us better in the yeah. long run. We it's won't a... be looking back at round eight against Hull KR if we're lifting a cup in uh, October. Ch- ch- change six players and win by a point. Same result. Yeah. Um, I just think we just need to not get cocky and yeah. think we're going to win every game by 20 plus. Correct. Um, right. I think we're done. Yeah. Oh, we'll keep that for separate. Uh, right. <laughs> Like, share and subscribe and we will catch you next week for Red VTV. See you soon.